Hi. Hi. I hope everybody is well. Happy Friday. Let me go ahead and move this camera back just a little bit just to show you guys my fantastic outfit that I got from Sheen. Y'all, I'm loving it. Okay. So, anywho, <laughs> I was going to make grits, but I'm not going to make grits. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do grits another day. This is the Spanish rice. I want to um, succeed in making this Spanish rice today. Let's go ahead and get started. Brioche bread loaf, French toast, French toast eggs, and Spanish rice. I'm going to go ahead and get started, y'all. And this is all the ingredients that I need. You don't have to use almond. You can use vanilla. You can use vanilla extract if that's what you like. And you can season your eggs to your own liking. Crack up a few eggs. You can add a little milk in your eggs if you want. Um, for me, I'm just going to chop up these eggs and scramble them just a little. Add it to the skillet. You can add seasoning, but I'm going to add pepperoni because um, that gives it flavor. Let it cook slowly. Turn it down and add the... This is really good to make into a sandwich as well. Do not be afraid to add some type of meat to your eggs. I'm saying, guys, it tastes so good. Put the pepperoni on the edges so that it can cook. It's absolutely divine. So, here is the cheesy eggs. Make sure to cook your pepperoni down a little. And I'm telling you, it adds great flavor. I'm going to put my eggs to the side and start cooking up the rice. I got water. Let me add some tomato paste if I find that. And then I'm going to add the pepper mix right now. I'm going to toast this for a second. Add the pepper mix. This will give us the color. My suggestion is to toast your rice. And if you see this in here, this is um, onions, which I'm cooking as well. And I'm just going to add my water. Fresh onions, add your garlic. I don't have any more garlic, but that's okay. Add what you have, and just let it simmer. I'll probably cover it up to give those onions a chance to cook. Add more. I'm gonna add more water, but mix it up, get the flavors together. You don't have to add tomato paste or tomato sauce, like they said. You don't have to do that because it already has that flavor. Here is the rice, guys. I didn't put tomato paste, but I did put some parsley for the color. And I love this rice. I'm gonna go ahead and plate it up and get started on the French toast. I gotta get milk though. The rice is nice and done. It's enough for a few servings. I ate some of it. It's so good. The rice, the cheesy eggs, and now I'm going to prepare the French toast. I'm gonna start by making my French toast batter. I like to crack um, one egg for every two pieces of bread, about two, three pieces. One egg usually lasts that much. Add a little bit of the cinnamon. I'm not going to bore you. I'm going to add the almond extract and add some milk and get it started. Dip. Like Miss Riz say, dip, baby, dip. Okay. Make sure you get. Come on and dip. Right, flip. You don't have enough cinnamon? Add the cinnamon as you put it in here. That's enough for three. I'm gonna dip three more. So I flipped my French toast. I know how to turn the um, turn the uh, heat up just a little bit more just to get certain sides browned. And then I'm gonna flip it one more time. But this is the almond French toast. Dip a few more and that's it. The dinner's done. Being me being nice and adventurous, I'm cutting these up into cubes because I want French toast cubes. This will be the French toast bites for me with the rest of the mix. I'm going to just let it sit and put the crumbs in there. I've never made something like this before. So I'm gonna do is just twirl over 
turn and put it in the skillet. I gotta make sure each piece kind of gets some and that it soaks well. So it's kind of difficult, but anywho, just keep flipping. Believe in yourself that you can do it. I've never made this before. So here's the French toast bites. I put some more of the um, mix on it. You want to kind of let them brown a little bit. I'm excited for French toast bites. I'm just going to put some syrup. I don't have no um, powder sugar, but that's how you want them to look. Nice and golden like that. You want the egg cooked. This is going to be beautiful. Let me go ahead and flip a few over just to see if I'm achieving the look that I want. Yep, just like that. French toast bites. So, oh, and then make sure you smash uh some of them together because some of the pieces were kind of a little bit um awkward or falling apart because of the mix and that's okay take your time and flip it over i, I recommend people try these especially if they have children here's the french toast bites i'm just moving them around to let you know that's the way that they should look come get you a plate come get you a plate have a great friday bye